What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video we are going to be doing a gameplay with the first ever uh, Pink Diamond throwback elite card in NBA 2K19 my team. And that card is the Pink Diamond um, Nate Thurmond. So Pink Diamond Nate Thurmond honestly, as far as Pink Diamonds go, is not the best. Like, it's honestly quite a weak Pink Diamond. Like, he is a center, a 6'11 center, and as expected, just like every other higher rated center we've gotten, like Kareem, Moses Malone, Ben Wallace, um, even to an extent Joel Embiid. Like every other really high rated center, he can't really shoot. Gasol is probably the best center position wise in my team. Actually Kareem. I'm say Kareem and after Kareem is probably Matt Gasol. But Nate Thurmond has got six all of fame badges, rim protector, defense stopper, hustle rebound, pick and roll, put back king, lob city finisher. Oh, he's got lob city finisher. That's actually a great badge to have. He's got gold tire to score, woman fast break, brick wall, posterizer, bruiser, acrobat, chase down artist, break starter, difficult shots for his finisher, post spin edition, drop step, and open under specialist, as well as a couple of personality badges. 98 offense, 99 defense overall, 611 center, so again, he's not too tall for a center, but again, not very small either. 97 drive, sorry, standing lap, 93 driving lap, 92 post fadeaway, 96 post hook. He has got good enough post control, open shot mid of 88, open shot 3 of 50, which is not great at all. But again, he's not a three-point shooter. He's at a standing dunk of 97, which is good. Driving dunk 95 again, which is good. Tendencies, driving dunk 95, standing 90, which should be okay. He's obviously not going to be much of a passer. 97 block, 77 steal, 95 shot contest is good. 98 nose rebounding stats, 85 speed, 84 acceleration. 55 speed ball, though, is not great. He's got 90 vertical, 96 strength, 85 lateral quickness. So he's going to be a really good defender anyway. He's got 98 on-ball defense of IQ. No post defense of IQ of 98 as well. So he's basically a Kareem, but a little bit smaller. Like, they're so similar. They are so, so similar. Kareem and uh, Nate Thurmond. But again, Kareem's three inches bigger and has better animations. So yeah, the team we're running with is Magic Johnson at the one, Paul George at the two, Kevin Durant at the three, Blake at the four, and Thurmond at the five. I'm actually gonna take out Blake and put in Hito. Yeah, I'm gonna put in Hito at the four instead. And then off the bench, we've got some of the five of these players. I'm not sure exactly what line we're going to run off the bench anyway. But now we're going to go into hot zones for Nate Thurman, go over his animations, then we're going to get on to the game. So Thurman has got no hot zones outside the three, obviously, and none from even deep in mid-range area. His release is all right, but the big thing about him is, is that look, just look at his fadeaway animation. He is never getting that shot off. Like, look how long it takes him to get into it. His open under isn't even great, like... He will not get a fadeaway animation off. Maybe going that way. Let's see, is it that bad going that way? No, it's not actually too bad going uh, towards over his left shoulder, but going over his right shoulder. Like, what the hell is that? Like, that's as bad a fadeaway animation as I've ever seen. Like, that is genuinely. And then, wait, is it just if he goes baseline, he does that? Yeah, so if he's going baseline either way, he's going to do that ridiculous animation. Jumper is all right, I guess. Standing and driving dunks, obviously fairly basic. He's just going to be a big man. He's going to be quite good in there. Get some dunks if he's wide open. And yeah, should be okay. Like if he's wide, wide open, but a 50 rated three, as well as a nice enough release, I think he might actually be able to hit them if he's wide open, as I just greened a three there. So uh, now let's just try green another three. And now let's get on to the game. All right, so we're playing against a really tough matchup here from Kareem abdul about the best defense, a big man in the game. But overall, I think our team matches up quite well and we do it with a better team. Spin. Good job. Nice dunk for Nate Thurmond. Let's go. Good start. I probably should have used Magic as the ball handler. Just for the whole Hall of Fame, Lob City passer and all that. Mid-range shot for Thurmond. Good enough luck. And he hits it. Throw it up to Thurmond. And Thurmond with the dunk. Good pass by Magic. What a pass there by Magic and what a dunk by Thurmond. All right. Some Hall of Fame Lob Cheese right here is doing well. Maybe Thurmond isn't as bad as I thought. I don't think he's missed yet. He's, he's done some good things. Like he's hit a mid-range shot. Got a couple of laps. He's done well in this game. I got a spin dunk. Puts up the hook. Can't hit it. Gets a board. Puts up another hook. Gets another board. Puts it up. Oh, nearly an arm one. All right, let's knock these down. 75 rating is not good, but it's not awful. Free throw release is okay as well, though. This is the second. It's okay. It's all good. Straight to the basket. Easy dunk for Thurmond. Let's go. He's done all right. Like 11 points is not a bad start to the game. Five and nine for the field though isn't great. 
Defense by Thurman. Thurman is cleaning up on the boards. Oh my God. He's absolutely cleaning up. Back him down, back him down. Put up the hook. Good defense by Dwight. Doesn't matter. Thurman puts it in. And Thurman, oh my God, that was unreal. That was absolutely unreal. Back him down. Tough layup. Can't hit it. Gets his own rebound. Tries to knock him away and puts it in. Green light. Straight to Thurman. Running through the middle and Thurman with the dunk. Okay, Nate Thurman forced a rage quit in the first quarter. All right, so playing against Giannis Clyde. So he's matched up with Dwight anyway. It should be a good enough matchup. But an unbelievable, unbelievable first quarter for Thurman in that last game. All right, let's start off with some lob cheese anyway. He's at Giannis at the point. Toss it up. And Thurman with the early dunk. Race pa pass there by Magic. We got step. Thumbs open. Step through. Good job, Nate Thurman. Let's go. Straight line, Thurman. He's got him. Does he? Green light. Good job. Nice. Wide open hook. Green light. Good job. Thurman is killing it. Thurman is absolutely killing it. While I'd obviously I would take a shooting center over him. As far as non-shooting centers go, maybe Kareem's better. That could be it. Back him down. Back him down. Put up the hook. Gets his own rebound there. Pushes him away. Easy layup. Thurman's there. And Thurman blocks him. It's a little bit too deep for LeBron, isn't it? Got him jumping. Easy layup for Thurman. That's 12 points in the first quarter for him. Okay, straight to the basket. Yanez jams in on Blake Griffin. Let's go. Good job, Manu. Yanis is there. Yanis forces the miss. Oh, it's a block. Really good there by Yanis. It's Granger in the corner for two. And Danny Granger knocks it down. Bad shot. Really bad shot, and somehow Drazen Petrovic hits it. The reason why he's in this squad over Clay, and that, that's basically it. He just shoots way better than Clay. All right, suddenly he's back to a three-point game. This has not been good. This is where the limitations of a non-shooting center... Uh, basically, it's limitations that all the player has to redo is off-ball on them, and you can't redo really much. Using the non-shooting center allows the player to off-ball really easily. Got him. Nice dunk, Thurman. Let's go. But defense magic. All right, so we're only down two going at the halftime. Not, obviously not good when you compare it to how much we were ahead, but could be way, way worse. Ridiculously difficult fadeaway jumper, and he puts it in. That was a really tough shot. Okay, we got him. Fadeaway jumper, green light Manu. Let's go. Okay, Manu wide open again, or lightly contested, doesn't matter. Once Manu goes into the fadeaway three, it's more, way more likely to go in than even a standing three. Which doesn't really make sense. Board Blake. The Granger. The Drazen. Wide over three. Green light. Defense, Marcus Hall. Defense, Danny Granger. Let's go. Pull up on the break. Green light. He's now up to 11. Let's go. Let's go into pick and pop here. Wide open for Gasol. Full white. And he knocks it down. Connect off this, it's a wide open shot. Green light. We go, Ginobili. Karolenko, please. Good dunk, and one. Let's go. Don't let, oh, we let Blake shoot, it's good. Great, back to seven. Seven, four minutes to go, and we've got our weaker lineup in. Not ideal, not ideal at all. We just threw it up to nobody. Thurman, fakes him up, we got him jumping. Gotta hit this one. Good board. Good put back, Nate Thurman. Let's go. Into the basket. Good pass. Great passing, lads. Big finish there by Thurman. Great steal, Nate Thurman. Let's go. They left him wide open for mid. Green light. All right, big, big plays right there to make a nine point game again. Good pass. Great dunk by Thurman. Let's go. There's a huge, huge play right there. Let's try to see if he steps under this. Wide open for Magic. Good three and magic knocks it down. Good job, Thurmond. Spin him in. No way is that a foul. Great job, Nate Thurmond, jamming on them. 
Alright, he pressures up and go on. If not, I'm just gonna leave it. Alright, so we win that game by 13 points in the end, and a big, big showing from Nate Thurman there. So in the end, Thurman had 32 points, 6 rebounds, 3 steals, 4 blocks, 3 turnovers, went 14 of 21 from the field, 4 of 4 from the free throw line, and yeah, had a solid, solid game. Ginobili with 11, Petrich with 8, Giannis with 6, Granger with 5, Magic with 3, Carolina with 3, and Gasol with 3. So yeah, and A. Thurman was a lot better than I expected, but again, there are some massive limitations to a non-shooting center, and if the guy knew how to play me right, he honestly could have completely, completely shut me down in that game and basically prevented the other four players from doing anything just because of the, having Nate Thurman on the floor. And it was evident that my bench lineup using Gasol or Yanis at center was way, way more effective than having Thurman at center. But again, like not bad at all. And if you're looking for non-shooting centers, if you don't need a shooting center, I think after Kareem, he's the next best. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.